We're not in California anymore. So we got back pretty late last night. Uh, Gabriel did really good on the flight back. Uh, on the flight there, he was a little squirmy right at the beginning and then he nursed and took a nap for about an hour and then woke up and was squirmy and wanted to wander around the plane for the rest of the flight. But on the way back, he was a little squirmy just at the very beginning and after liftoff, Sarah was able to nurse him and then he just passed right out and he ended up sleeping the entire flight. So that was like two and a half hours and then by the time we got off the plane, probably about two hours, 45 minutes. So of course when we got home, he was like, I just had a nap, I'm ready to go. And he was wide awake and wanted to play and everything. So Sarah nursed him and then handed him off to me. I put him in his bouncer, let him bounce for a little while while I kind of straightened up and got things ready for in the morning because, uh, for this morning, because our day started it, like it normally would on a Thursday morning, uh, bright and early at like six o'clock. So. We had to get a, get, she went to bed to get some rest and I kind of straightened things up and got ready. And then as soon as Gabriel started to kind of act like he might get tired, Sarah got up and nursed him again and he went back down and ended up sleeping really well through the night. So hopefully the uh, California, the trip to California, gets his kind of knocked him into sleeping a little longer than like three hours and three hour intervals all night. But anyway, today, I get to deal with that stuff. Got quite a bit of unpacking to do, some laundry to do. Uh, I want to kind of get Gabriel out of the house again, just to kind of keep, you know, we have some good momentum on our walking around, getting some outside time. So I'm gonna try to at least take him for a little bit of a walk. But something I did realize, I try to learn something everywhere I go and everything kind of happens. Uh, I was in Anaheim, a place I'd never been before, and felt comfortable just taking him out and wandering off, you know, walking away and then looking at Google Maps and saying, okay, this is how I get back and then wandering back. But here, when I'm at home, I never venture very far. We go about half a mile out, walk around the park and then come back. And so we never, he and I never go on adventures here at home. So that kind of challenged me. I'm gonna try to do some more uh, home adventures, that kind of thing, something, Something during the day, nothing big, extravagant, but try to walk to some different places. Give him some change of scenery. You can maybe give me some change of scenery too. So anyway, I'm gonna try to get this laundry taken care of before he gets up. There's another great thing. I think he's, he's feeling the effects too. We're all pretty tired from yesterday and we'd gotten used to the time difference over there and now it's uh, we're back to the times here. So um, anyway, we're all pretty groggy and dragging along. I think he is too because he took almost a two-hour nap shortly after he got up and then he was up for about an hour and ready to go back down started rubbing his eyes and then passed right out so he's in the middle of nap number two right now and it's uh, almost lunchtime so hopefully that'll give him some of his energy back and we'll get our little Gabriel back up and going like normal okay I've got all the unpacking done I uh, even I've uh, sorted everything out and even attempted to put away Sarah's stuff. So we'll see how wrong that was later on. But it's done. And you know you packed a lot of stuff when you get sweaty. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but I broke a little bit of a sweat doing all that. Ridiculous. Anyway, now it's time to wash all the random conference swag that we got. Or Sarah got, anyway. Water bottle and all the baby toys that have been all over the world and touched a million different things like, you know, teethers that may or may not have touched the floor of the airport. So definitely gonna wanna wash all that stuff. So I'm gonna get all that stuff washed. And he's still asleep, but he's a little restless. Every time I check the monitor, he's in a different position. So fingers crossed he uh, goes a little bit longer. Well, he literally woke up about 30 seconds after I uh, started washing that stuff. So it's time to go get him. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so check out what this little woodchuck does now. You can see that. Not want to focus. <laughs> anyway, he stand. He can stand up in his crib like, like a pro. So now, if we don't come in here right when he wakes up, 
<laughs> puts his little new little teeth. Yeah, you gonna show him how you do it? No? I don't want you to. <laughs> he puts his teeth right on the edge of that bed and starts chewing. So we have to come in here real quick. Yeah, we gotta come in here real quick and get him. Otherwise, he ends up covered in little bits of bed. We gotta wipe it off and check his mouth and all kinds of stuff. Crazy kid! <laughs> okay, Gabriel's up. Laundry is in progress, and we're gonna take a walk before it gets too hot. What do you say, kiddo? What are you doing? Your feet don't go there. You gonna you gonna recline? You want some, some foot rest on your stroller? That's hilarious. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're not gonna wander too far because it's. My watch says it feels like 83 outside and Dallas heat's not like California heat. When it's 83, it feels like 83. Actually, no. When it's 83, it feels like 90. So anyway, it's hot outside. So we're not going to go very long. So I'm at the very park I said I was going to try to not come to as much. But it's a little hot, so I didn't want to venture too far out. Really just wanted to get him out of the house for a little while this afternoon. He seems to be enjoying himself, don't you? Aren't you? See, if I turned you loose, you'd be gone, man. I'd be pulling you. You'd be, you'd be all over the place. Yep, you know it. She said, "Turn me loose so I can chase those ducks." Look at that. Geese in the street. I tell you, geese are jerks, man. They get out in the street. I just expect you to stop. Look at this one. He says, Go ahead. I dare you to turn this corner. Here comes somebody. Take him out. Take him out. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Should have run him over. No, I'm kidding. Don't run over geese. That dude's got to wait. <laughs> Honk your horn, dude. <laughs> Go around them. <laughs> kind of don't see how this goat plays out. These are jerks. Look at that. That's hilarious. <laughs> Man, that's messed up. Just to set the record straight, I would not have run over the geese. And I don't think anybody should run over geese. But geese are jerks. They just they don't deserve to be run over. But they're still jerks. This guy didn't want to nap. One of the dogs barked as I was pulling him in the house after his walk that woke him up so I gave him a bottle hoping that would knock him out and it 
He got real sleepy, I think he slept while he was taking the bottle, and then as soon as he finished the bottle, he woke up and decided that was, that was all the nap he needed. So now we're, <laughs> now we're in the walker trying to burn off some energy. Look where you're going, kid. Oh, thanks for reminding me to finish the laundry. Mama will be home in about 45 minutes. I gotta get that knocked out. So we're headed to the chiropractor. Because that's all we do in this car. That's not all. We go on adventures. Yeah, but we mostly go to the chiropractor. I'm pretty sure from all that traveling and hotel room beds that our vertebrals are subluxed. <laughs> and that we yeah. need some adjusting. I feel like my vertebrals are very subluxed. I'll sublux your vertebral. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> so now that we're back, Jacob is a little sad. Because he had a whole lot of adult human interaction. Made friends. Now it's just me, Gabriel, and stupid old Daniel Tiger's neighborhood. <laughs> I've got a whole alternate version of that song, the theme song now. It's all like Daniel Tiger's neighborhood. I really hate the show. <laughs> Keep going. I don't know. I've got, <laughs> Keep I got going. Verses, but it's it's all it's like because I, I get I get real mean about the different characters. I mean, Prince Wednesday's a little crybaby, if we're going to be honest. I mean, I don't mean to get political, but Prince Wednesday is a crybaby. And then King Monday had everybody pick his fruit for him today while he sat on a chair. He's a king. Yeah. But I, that, I mean, what is that teaching our kids? Anyway, I'm sad. I don't have any friends. Yeah. Since we've moved to Texas, all of our friend base is back in Louisiana. Jacob's an introvert and doesn't like to talk to strangers, so he doesn't make friends very easily. So I, I like I want to go to work with Sarah just so I can hang out with the cohort. <laughs> oh, you have to pay me. Everybody likes Gabe. Yes, we have to pay you. If you're I just come to work. Carry him around and make him visit with people. Let's just hang out in the break room. It'd be like it'd be like California all the time. I'll just sit off in a room by myself. <laughs> and I'll come visit periodically. Yeah, until somebody needs me, and then I'll come with the baby. <laughs> Trying to get jolly. There's like side crawl thing he's doing. Isn't he very silly? Tron, you don't get to have any little dogs. Tron, sit. I want a pretzel. I want sit. a pretzel. Sit. A little dancing bear. Sit. Good boy. Mommy has nothing for you. <laughs> Terrible. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Down. Sit. Down. Down. No, nobody knows what's going on. <laughs> anyway. Oh, wait, wait. Let's show him what Charlie does when he sits. We're steaming a kale pellet for his dinner. That's what they look like. They're frozen kale that we've already steamed, pureed, and then All right, Charlie, frozen. you ready? Charlie, our son, Our son's getting in the oven. Good boy! I missed it. What? So Charlie does this thing where he'll only sit on carpet. Come here. Come here. Come see. Sit. Come you turn. There he goes. Gabriel says, I want to play, but Sit. nobody will play with me. Good boy! <laughs> Good boy! Sit. Hey. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> you play with my skirt? Bless you. Chaos in the kitchen. Steamed kale pellet. Where's that coming? Jolly. No, you don't play with that part of it. 
See, our opinion of kale hasn't changed. Yeah, Daddy wants to call me out because I feed him messy. You get to feed him the good foods he likes. I have to feed him the majority of everything else. I gave him broccoli the other day. Hey, and when I was in the hotel room, I gave him that store-bought garbage. That was a mess. I think that gave him diaper rash, and more skin problems. Yeah, it said it was organic and no GMOs and all that stuff, but... But we bought it at a CVS. And then you buy your, your baby food from a CVS. Bad, bad things are bound to happen. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll go to Sprouts or Whole Foods to get his um, protein. We could start that next week. You get to have chicken. Are you going to like chicken? Everybody likes chicken. Daddy's going to give you some bacon while mommy's at work. <laughs> oh. There it went. Dad. Game over, man. Dad. Game over. Yeah, because you will have to do it during the day because that's what the pediatrician said to give it to him midday. So in case he has any type of reaction to it the doctor's office will be open so I can rush him in. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Look with your special eyes. <laughs> Grab it with your dirty hands. Alright, so Gabriel's had his dinner and he is in bed. And I am on my way to go pick up our dinner. We're having hamburgers. Uh, we like to cook at home, but since we've you know been traveling all week and we're we don't have any groceries at all, <laughs> we're, this uh, our cupboards are bare. So we're gonna be making a grocery trip this weekend. But anyway, I'm headed to Muya to get hamburgers for our dinner, and then we're gonna take it easy the rest of the night. Showing off that tag. All right. Well, our hamburgers are here. We're home. We're tired. And we just want to lay down and watch TV on the couch. Lay down on the couch and watch TV. <laughs> the TV itself is not on the couch. <laughs> Sarah's gonna wake up the baby. <laughs> Beep. Boop, boop. All right. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure. Sorry. <laughs> Usually I say that part. Do it. I didn't mean to. Subscribe to our channel to see more. And don't forget to hit that bell so it notifies you of our next video. Ding! No. That's the bell noise. Ding! No. You ruined it. I was cute. You made it weird. Ding! <laughs> Leave us a comment about anything you want. Tell us how great this video is. Charlie? How, how epic our Mickey Mouse ears are. They're actually Gabriel and his cousins. But his cousin doesn't know yet, so that's a secret. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>